What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we are checking out the brand new NECA Ultimate Foot Soldier here. You can see Ninja Turtles, Troubles, a foot on the front. We have this cool uh, little image here of five different foot soldiers. And on the backside, uh, we got different graphics of uh, the figure itself. And a little read up here, if you wanna check this out, go ahead and pause that, you can read it for yourself. Uh, pretty typical ultimate box though, you know, the artwork kinda stays the same on, on these things. Uh, we do have a little Velcro flap here with a full window display, which is really nice, has everything laid out nice and clean in these for those people that like to keep things in box. You got that for you. And we got this nice little image of three foot soldier figures. Now, this release is cool um, and it's gonna be rolling out everywhere pretty soon as far as uh, targets go, but it's, mm, it's kind of on my eh list and I'll tell you why in a little bit here. So um, we have our foot soldier here. Let's go ahead and get inside of the box here. I will grab a knife and we will slit from the bottom here and we'll go ahead and see what all this troubles of foot nonsense is about. I personally keep my figures out of box. Um, that's just how I am, I love it. And here we go with our foot soldier. Now there is an awful lot of things to take a look at in here. And if you're ever familiar with uh, NECA boxes, oh my gosh, we have so many pieces of tape to cut and so many little ties. Uh, to take off. So let me get this guy uh, unstrapped and out of the box and we'll go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so we have our ultimate foot soldier out of the package. What? Wait, what? Actually, we don't because this foot soldier right here is exactly the same as foot soldiers that have come in uh, quite a few different cartoon packs. And so I just grabbed one that I already had opened um, because it saves some time on having to pull this guy out of here. There's literally no difference. It's the exact same mold here that you get in this. And that is kind of the moral of the story with the ultimate foot soldier. And in my opinion, it's kind of just disappointing. It's not like it's a surprise or anything, but if, if you're going into this, thinking that you're getting a lot for your money, you're you're really not. It, it's got a really low um, mileage to value uh, proposition to it, I guess. And that's simply because a lot of the stuff in here is clones of what we've seen uh, with previous foot soldier releases. So I'll show you what we get that is the same and then we'll go over what you get that is different. Now, like I said, we do have the foot soldier in here, uh, which is the exact same mold. And that's this guy. The uh, The points of articulation are exactly the same as every other uh, foot soldier um, that we've seen in the cartoon uh, lineup. And it's cool, it's fine. Like there's nothing wrong with this. Everything is, is pretty good. I like this guy, he's cool, um, but uh, right here, we do have this little uh, communicator with Krang on it, which we've seen before in uh, the Foot Soldier Turtle Packs. And we do have this blue gun right here as well, which I actually have uh, another Foot Soldier right here. So this blue gun, I believe he came with um, the Foot Soldier that was bashed open like this. Um, and so we have this blue print, uh, this blue painted gun right here, which you get in this pack as well. Uh, we do get two little throwing stars down here at the bottom, which we've seen in other cartoon turtle packs. And this sword, uh, the paint job is slightly different, um, but we have seen this sword before in one more place. And that is uh, with Shredder right here. Shredder's sword is the same sword as uh, this little guy right here. The paint job is just ever so, so slightly different uh, with shredders just being a little bit lighter on the yellow and brown, um, but otherwise pretty much the same thing. So you get you get a shredder sword with your, with your foot soldier, your ultimate foot soldier here. Now, so as far as this goes, this top part, uh, all of this is stuff that we've seen before, which is fine, whatever. Like I said, it's okay. This is actually a really good value if you have zero foot soldiers um, and you can't get any of the two packs because they're more expensive in the secondary market or whatever, I highly recommend you just try to pick up two of these Ultimate Foot Soldier packs because then you're you're getting a lot for your money. Uh, the other things here that we have, so we have uh, this little gun right here, 
um, which we saw in, uh, in in a regular Foot Soldier release. And it's the same it's the same thing. It's not a repaint at all. Same exact gun uh, that you see right there. And then we have this little uh, laser gun right here, which again, something that we've seen before in previous uh, releases. And of course, all the hands, nothing new there. We get, get a ton of hands, obviously, with the NECA stuff, which I, I do enjoy because it does increase, um, you know, what you can do as far as posability goes. Now, like I said, there's a lot of a lot of the same here, but there are some differences uh, with some of the other stuff we get. Like for example, we have this spear right here. Um, this is a uh, is a new thing. Uh, to the foot soldiers. Uh, we haven't seen a spear like this, so this weapon is pretty cool. Nice and long spear. I mean, you can see uh, next to the foot soldier himself, uh, the size there, the scale there. Um, we do also have um, this sword that's cut with a little bit of a jagged edge, which is, I believe, definitely something new um, to the cartoon lineup. I don't think I have this with any of the other. I could be wrong. Um, it might actually be in, in one of the the foot soldier packs that I have, but I, I don't remember. So um, this is new to me right now. I'm, I'm, I'm hap happily oblivious <laughs> to that. Uh, we have this canister, which is the same mold, but I just think that this is a little bit of a repaint. You can see we got blue and green on, on this. So it's a, just a slight repaint on, on that canister mold. Now we do have this, uh, this fan right here um, this weapon, I guess, that is definitely 1,000% new to the Ultimate Foot Soldier pack. So that's pretty cool. And it's got a full paint job front and back. Everything looks pretty nice with that. So you can actually have um, the Foot Soldier hold the fan however you'd like to. Probably not the best uh, hand to do that with, but you get the point. Um, so that is new. And then we have this uh, gun, which is purple and gray. Now this is actually just a simple repaint of a weapon that we've seen before, which came with, I believe, the slashed foot soldier that we have right here. So you can see um, these are exactly the same. It's just a different paint job. One's dark gray and purple. One is light gray uh, with dark gray accents. Um, so definitely just, just, just the same thing, just a repaint. And um, then we do also have this little gun right here, which I don't remember seeing. It, again, it could be in uh, one of my boxes uh, because I just, I, keep all my boxes in storage. Uh, so it could be in one of my boxes, but I think that this might be a new little gun right here. Uh, either way, it's nothing to write home about. It's kind of kind of tiny. And then of course we get interchangeable heads uh, with this guy. So you have the, uh, the one head here with the red foot on his forehead. And uh, then we have this one here with the mask and the yellow foot on top, which you can easily just, these easily swap out. You just pull the head off. So really, if you think about it, right, what we're getting that's new here per se are what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine accessories. Um, nine accessories for about 30 bucks is what you're getting that's new here. If you already have a lot of foot soldiers, it's a tough call because, well, you need these new accessories, right? Like these are like something that we definitely wanna have, but you've already got a bunch of foot soldiers and you're just getting another one. Okay, fine, you can army build, but then you have like, you don't have enough accessories to go across like all your foot soldiers. If you don't have any foot soldiers or maybe you just have one, I think maybe go ahead and pick this up. I don't know, it's a tough call, like I said. All right, so a couple of things that I noticed actually, um, I went ahead and removed the Ultimate Foot Soldier from the packaging. Uh, one thing that I noticed here, okay, so on the regular Foot Soldiers, we have a flesh colored peg and um, you can fit the other heads on the regular Foot Soldiers just fine. They fit the same, nothing, nothing is different there. On the Ultimate one, we have a purple colored peg and there is reason behind this. So when you have uh, this uh, alternate head on here, you just pop it in there, right? Um, it doesn't really go down very far. First off, it makes him look like he has a really long neck. That is as far as that thing goes. Um, it, it doesn't go down any further. Anyway, and his leg just fell off, and I'll tell you about that in a second here. Just let me, uh, <laughs> let me get this. Um, when you have his head tilted up, you won't see a flesh-colored peg right there um, under his ne uh, under his chin, which is nice. So like any way you pose him, you won't see a flesh colored peg because the peg is purple, which if you use this head on the other foot soldiers with the flesh colored peg, you will see that 
um, kind of creeping out through through the side there. Not, not that big of a deal anyways, but I really don't like how this head sits on him. It's just really long, like his neck. It makes his neck really long. I, I think they could have made the, the cavity deeper under the head. Whatever, not a big deal, really not the end of the world, uh, but that's one thing I noticed. The other thing I noticed, which you just witnessed uh, a second ago, is how um, the leg joints are on here. Now, with the original foot soldiers here, this is what our leg joints look like, right? Everything's sealed, you can't, you, you really can't like remove them. Um, we have our uh, little um, swivel or pivots or whatever right here. Uh, at the crotch, <laughs> best way to describe it. Um, with the ultimate foot soldier, this is how this is how we are, right? So this is what it looks like down here, and these just actually pop right off. Um, so you see how we have just this uh, little, almost like three quarter circle that pops onto a ball on the side, right here. It just pops right on and off. They come off pretty easily, and. Um, they're a lot looser than the other foot joints. So I actually find this ultimate foot soldier figure to be um, far less superior or far less ultimate than the ones that come in the regular release. For example, those leg joints, those new leg joints, they are loosey goosey, right? Like these are just like flop city all over the place. Whereas the ones on the original releases, they don't move but they still have all of their posability and they work just fine, but they don't like move out of place at all. Um, these ones are very, very loose, which I am not a fan of. And so I don't even really think that this ultimate foot soldier as a figure is a really good buy. And that's not even including the other things that uh, you know, other gripes that I have about this, but keep that those things in mind about uh, the little ball joint. If you don't mind having a flesh colored uh, ball joint here, you can use this head on, uh, on another foot soldier that has superior uh, leg joints, or you can just take the purple joint out of this one and move it over. Anyway, uh, that's an, that, those are like the main gripes that I have about this, but as far as, as whether or not this is worth the money, well, uh, let's talk about it. Keep in mind too that um, we only have, what, three different types of foot soldiers total. Um, these are the three different foot soldier molds uh, that we have here. So we have the standard one, the bashed one, and the slashed one. We don't have any different kind of foot soldier molds. It would have been cool to see a different foot soldier mold with this. It feels like lazy execution in my opinion, um, but that's just my opinion and I would love to know your opinion about this brand new ultimate foot soldier set. Um, I, I, I have to have it because I'm just, I collect the cartoon line. That is my main jam with NECA. And it's just a shame that all this stuff in here, you know, sweats 80% of what comes in the box is stuff I already had. And I, like I said, I can put it to use, that's fine. But it's kind of robbery to make me pay $30 for nine accessories. Like, um, I, that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know yours though, down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. Really appreciate all the support everyone. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell wherever it's at. Uh, so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the future. A uh, big shout out to everyone over on Patreon. Uh, a, sh a huge shout out to those people. I love you guys. You guys are great supporters. I send them stuff out of my collection every single month. So if you wanna join up with that and find out what it's all about for yourself, I'll put a link down below, uh, right beneath that like button for you, as well as a link to the Box Attack Facebook group where we can discuss all things collectibles there. So go ahead and uh, join up with that if you're interested as well. Uh, like I said, um, I'm curious to know your thoughts on this Ultimate Foot Soldier. Drop them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.